Family Man. Good morning, crew. I would like to introduce Mrs. Ethics and Professor Williams. Mrs. Ethics is the firm's ethics officer, and Professor Williams is the author of How to Be a Better Manager. He just recently signed on to help our management team. Morning, everybody. Hello, staff. It is nice to see you again. I know for some of us, it's it's been quite a while since we've had some ethics training, so, uh, you know, we may have forgotten some of the finer points of uh, office behavior. And since we're all on the clock, uh, let's keep it to one question each, please. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got a question. Uh, could the professor briefly explain uh, how the way that we talk to each other here at work can uh, hurt our staff's productivity? Well, first, thank you all for being here this morning. Well, I know you didn't have a choice, but uh, thank you anyway. And that's a great question. Well, aside from harassment being illegal, uh, we all understand that, right? It breaks down the team's cohesion, uh, which really leads to reduced productivity. Uh, and as accountants, your team's pay is based on your productivity. Oh, and it's, it's just not nice. All right, great. Thank you. Uh, I think I understand a little better now. Uh, yeah, this question is for Mrs. Ethics. Um, sometimes, well, often, our team meets after work for social hour. Can this be a potential problem? Well, I would also like to thank you for the opportunity to get out of my boring office and interact with the fine accountants at Dunder and Dunder. Yes, Daisy. Over-socializing can be a big problem, ethically and managerially. You know, as the figurehead of this department, Peter has certain responsibilities that might be compromised, or even have the perception of being compromised, or unfair if too much socializing is done. When it comes to work-related decisions, Peter is fair across the board. His actions might appear to be biased based on over-socialization. Um, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, well, I hope y'all don't mind if I ask the last question here. Um, well, I've recently been promoted to lead these excellent accountants and would like your explanation on the transition from staff to management. I'd really like to know more about how this works. Oh, I would love to explain, Peter. A study by AT&T shows us that managers such as yourself start out with excellent technical skills. You're an excellent accountant, right? Well, I'd like to think so. Well, the managers that really succeeded uh, had great technical skills in the beginning of their career, but also interpersonal skills and conceptual skills. They're able to develop strategies and concepts that the company can use for growth and expansion. Using Peter as an example, uh, well, he's a good accountant, right? He has excellent interpersonal skills, and now if he is to advance in this company, he will have to develop his conceptual skills. Instead of thinking day to day or even month to month, he will be thinking of strategy that sometimes does not have the time frames and numbers, but goals and achievements. Wow, thank you, Professor. I feel like I've learned a great deal during this training. This morning, and especially the last few days, uh, we've really learned a lot about management's role as a figurehead. How harassment has no place at Dunder and Dunder, or for that fact, anywhere. And how ethical behavior in and out of the office can affect uh, overall productivity. Thank you all for coming, and uh, definitely thank you to our great presenters. Until next time!